11. Number two, this graph that we're looking at shows the amount of almonds in grams for different amounts of oats in cups. So we're comparing almonds to grams. Uh, I'm sorry, almonds to oats, grams, and cups in a granola mix. We labeled the point 1, comma k on the graph and find the value of k. So at 1, it's right here when 1 is your x value. That's right here. We go up on the graph to right here and it looks like that it's at 25 that's just kind of visually looking at it all right so 25 would mean that at one cup let's make a table of it oats when I have one cup of oats it looks like I have how many almonds it looks about like 25 grams so it says to label the point and this is 1k 1k and then it says find the value of k it looks like I said to be 25 now we could kind of prove that since 2 is going through 50 then you know if this is proportional which it looks like it is straight line through the origin then the number that I picked for 25 seems to make sense and the meaning of this right here this is our constant it's what we multiply the oats by to get the almonds. This is our constant of uh, proportionality, not constants. It's our constant. It means that every cup of oat used in the granola mix requires 25 grams of almonds, is what it means. So, explain its meaning, you could say that for every 25 grams of almonds. The mix requires a cup of oats. That's what it means. It's the constant of proportionality. All right, and last one. What information do you need to know to write an equation relating to quantities that have a proportional relationship? Okay, information that you need. You need the constant. And you need the variables that represent your two quantities, that represent the quantities. And that's all you need. You get those two things. As long as you put them multiplied by the correct thing, you should be uh, okay with writing the equation. But you got to have a constant, and you got to have, just like up here, we had two variables to represent the quantities. And we had a constant in the middle. Once multiplied or divided by it to get to the other side. And that is that.